Welcome back to Everything Lynn. I'm Lynn. I noticed I have some new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. So on this platform, I discuss trending topics and I also give life advice based on my own life experiences. Today's topic. Passport bros, meaning brothers. It's a traveling community of upwardly mobile black men. Some are accused of going around the world searching for a more traditional and submissive wife. But is it all about and just a girlfriend for hire and then return home to humiliate black women in America. That's the controversy. And what a controversy it has been. As if the gender wars in America has not been enough to deal with in dating. We've taken the toxicity international. First things first, I want to express my understanding as to why a passport bros movement like this may have begun. It was more so a revolt against the modern women's ideals in dating in America. I understand the city girls were running amok on young women's minds and you had the feminazis that were basically weaponizing their movement and calling everything that was like inherently masculine toxic. Probably seemed if you're looking at social media that there was like no safe place for a man to peacefully rest his head alongside a woman here in America. So the word got out that there were more feminine women in a magical place far away and off they went to find love. You know, you can't fault them for that narrative. The problem for the more marriage mindset passport bros is that your loudest representatives for the movement and their followers have you guys looking down bad, hypocritical, and crazy. I'm currently in Thailand. This is my girlfriend. She's so pretty. She's mm -hmm. so pretty. Do you, do you want to introduce yourself? You want to, you want to introduce yourself? Mm. No, you don't want to introduce you. She's she a little shy right now, but she's my new girl. She's my new girlfriend. She's a little shy, but she is pretty though. I like her. Maybe we'll get married someday. Maybe we'll have kids, you know, have a bunch of babies running around, living the life. Tell her. So can you cook? Can you cook? Yes. She I can cook. I can clean. Yeah. See, this is why I came to Thailand to find a traditional woman. See, in the United States... Women don't cook and clean. All they do is complain. And we don't got time for that. That's why I got my passport. And I've left. I've left the United States to come seek a wife to have a traditional relationship. So, yeah, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. This is my new girl right here. <laughs> mm. So, guys, you'll be seeing her a lot more, hopefully. And, um, you know, we'll get to know each other. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, man. More men, more United States men need to get their passports and come to Thailand. Find them a traditional wife. Find them a traditional woman because the women in the United States, they don't do us no good. They're not traditional. They don't want to be traditional. They want a traditional man without a tradition, without them being traditional. So they want traditional while they're modernized. And we don't want to modernize them. We want a traditional woman. She can cook. She can clean. She's a good woman. And I truly love this girl. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. I love her so much. What a weirdo, you know? Like, no wonder he didn't have much luck here in America. You know, like, what type of vibe does he give you? Any discerning, dating-minded person would have been around him and listened to him speak and would have been like, <laughs> I'm in danger! Also, so Floyd Wallace makes his money by basically antagonizing police officers and then suing when they... Um, do not appropriately follow protocol. He's been tased. He's been all over the news. He's in and out of jail. I mean, why weren't the panties dropping? Surely it was the fact that we're too modernized here in America. You know, I think that was the problem. Exhibit B. In HBTV, they're treating him like a cornball, like the cornball he is in the States. Well, I mean, like I say, definitely he, if, if he told us that this kind of thing wasn't happening, and I just wanted you all to know, this is his video, and he says this is the wonderful feminine treatment that he likes. So, okay. Uh, so we got a party pooper right here. Uh, she's been negative the past 15 minutes. No, 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 no. She stop lying. Like, oh, stop lying. Let me talk. It's not your turn. Stop being rude. You stop lying. Stop being rude. Uh, it was a shit test. They do it. This was the whole point I was making the whole time. When these non-black, 
non-American females do these things to these guys, they give it a pass. They tell you that this kind of stuff doesn't happen. And then when you show them proof that, no, it, 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 it's happening over there too, they give them a pass for the exact same behavior that they told you, number one, didn't exist over there, and number two, the exact same behavior that they told you that they would not tolerate in the States. This dude, Austin Holloman, has about 44,000 subs and followers hanging onto his every word and has dudes in the comments tussling with the women at like, no, you're just hating. You don't understand. She cooks and she cleans. No, we're just pointing out the hypocrisy of it all. No hate or shade to this woman. You know, she's just getting it how, how she fits it, right? But literally, this is the exact behavior that they told the world that they ran from. I personally would not tolerate that type of behavior from anybody that I was dating. But he did, and he does in this video. Why? Because she can cook and clean? Apparently, she's a regular in his videos, too. Like... After seeing that video, as a dude, if I were following him, I wouldn't want to hear another word that he's saying because he's coming off extremely disingenuine. Like, it's okay because you had to catch a flight. That attitude's okay because it came with an accent. Like, what, what exactly are you telling people? Again, I understand the original premise of anybody going overseas to find love. You know, like, I didn't have so much luck back home. Maybe my person is across the way. But you get your passport, you know, you get your ticket, you fly off somewhere and you immerse yourself in the culture. You immerse yourself in the area. You fall in love with her. You fall in love with her people, you know, and you, you find love. Then go ahead and tell the whole world about your love, about your new experiences. But do that. The problem and why we're seeing friction with these passport bros is that they're doing the whole negative compare and contrast thing. You know, when you start coming for people who didn't send for you, you get you get some friction because now we have to sit here and say we have to stand up for ourselves. You know, we're like, no, that's not that's not what it was. That's not what it is. And then when you compound that issue with the videos that we've seen where it looks like you're just tricking, you know, like it's kind of hard to paint a positive light around this whole movement. It's hard to build a positive rapport internationally. Quiet as it's kept, the women overseas have peep game and are looking at you guys like easy marks now. So for the marriage-minded passport bros, you know, the ones that are just traveling to immerse themselves in a different culture, have fun, maybe find love, you guys need a better PR team because the ones that we've seen, the ones that are repping y'all aren't making you look good or renounce the whole movement altogether and, you know, just just go your way and have the experience that you meant to have in the in the first place because being a part of this group is just, it's just not making you guys look good. <laughs> but that's all I have to say about that. Um, what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So I'm not Brazilian. I have Brazilian friends. I'm from the Dominican Republic oh, okay, okay. and the passport bros, man, they've been a thing for so long. So the difference between the foreign European guys that come into the country is not very, very different as far as what their reasons are, but the behavior is quite different mm. so when the african-american men go they go over there to show off to you know kind of boast to other people about how they're getting all this sexual attention well the euro guys are kind of like you know come to my yacht and you know they, they're kind of more like trying to have a party and you know just enjoy the company of women not to say that they're not terrible too but right the way the the African American guys comport themselves is more of like a, a stroke of ego because they don't get it back in their country. So quiet as is kept, we all know from the girls that don't uh, partake in that kind of industry to the girls that do. We all know that when an African American man comes down there, he's usually not sexually socialized correctly. So he thinks that the way we act is because of him when it's just culture that we act the way we do, which is you know tending to our man and whatnot. So then another thing that also happens is that we all communicate with each other. He's a lick. Get what you can. 
make him feel like he's special. Just turn up the heat as far as how, you know, sweet and submissive you are. But just get your lick. That's all they care about. And and see, I don't the thing is, I don't I don't even hate on it because this is what I what I do here in America. When black men tell me, "Oh yeah, I like your kind of women." Da, 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 I'm like, "Hell yeah, come to my country." Hell yeah, come to my country. Why? Because I'm thinking about the women that do need money and want to get that lick. And they're just the easiest lick to get. Whereas a Euro guy is going to be like, you know, um, he's going to want to for, for you to establish, like, look at him with some type of respect, understand his, his uh, you know, his lifestyle. He wants you to be impressed by him. Whereas the African-American men are more like, yeah, you know, I don't get attention from my women over there. So that's why I come here. And, you know, you women are the best. And we all we all are in cahoots. We all right. know what time it is. So that's all I have to say about them. They're not special over there. And if and they already have made their own reputation in Brazil and DR and Colombia, all that. They've already made a terrible reputation. We're obviously not going to say it to their face because we, we got to hit the licks just have this code among each other that this mm -hmm. is what this is what we're doing yeah because we already know that men that talk badly about their own women are it's almost like treasonous treasonous mm -hmm. um it's almost like they're they're natural born backstabbers Ooh. so it's like what's the point of you know <laughs> With dealing with them besides catching the lick. Me, 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 wait for you. <laughs> Remember to subscribe.